Thank you. A Palm Beach County mother coming to terms tonight that she may never see her son and his family again. Authorities in New Zealand have called off the search for the Nina and her crew members. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank is live in West Palm Beach tonight with this woman's emotional words. Evan? Shannon David Dyke sailed away from this marina months ago with his wife and son aboard. Now his mother said to me today that if he was going to die young, he'd want it to be at sea. And tonight, she says, that's what happened. Tonight, David Dyke's mother is beginning her own journey, one without her son, grandson, and daughter-in-law. Carol Dyke got the final phone call from search crews last night. I collapsed in bed, and I do what I always do when I'm feeling awful. I clutch my cat. This after a month of hoping from afar. The crew last texted forecasters in New Zealand for weather updates on June 4th. They were riding into a storm with 26-foot waves on an 85-year-old boat that Dyke retrofitted himself. They've looked and looked and looked. They've had satellites out looking and looking and looking, and all they see is nothing. Along with three crew members, Dyke's wife and son were sailing on the Nina with an urn, an urn carrying the ashes of Dyke's father, David I, who was also a sailor. Son disobeyed father's wishes to have his ashes spread in a lake in upstate New York. He wanted daddy aboard for a journey around the world. My son learned the love of the sea from his father. And both, if they went down, both of them went down. So that's where they both would like to be. Dyke last saw her 58-year-old son a few months ago. She contemplates her future. I've spent most of my life with those kids. And the last words that her son said to her in person. He said that he had a funny feeling that his life was making a big change. So he said, he, think my, he said, I think my sailing days are over at the end of this cruise. The family tells me they aren't certain whether they'll continue the search with a private search team that they would have to hire. He leaves behind his mother and a twin sister who is an explorer in her own right. She's an airline pilot. Live tonight in downtown West Palm Beach, Evan Axelbank, WPTV News Channel 5.